Hello there! In this video I'm releasing a quick cannon that is just a concrete cannon that nukes a certain shape into some people's walls. Uh, you can use it if you don't like people, um, if they just messed up by having a lot of watered walls in front of their base instead of putting lava like they should. It's a concrete cannon which means that yeah it will not work against lava walls. It also doesn't have a lot of range, it's like 7 or 8 chunks or something, or was it 9, I don't remember. We kind of made it in a hurry, but it's just meant to be cheap, um, and yeah, that's why it's not really the most good-looking cannon that um, either of us have ever made. So it's, uh, us is uh, Jesus is hot, uh, or Stan, uh, and me. It uses one power, just a bunch of TNT, um, and two different guiders, because we are shooting TNT up and down, and you need an offset for that, so... One part of TNT is getting shot underneath this uh, grindstone here, and then the other part is shooting along with the concrete uh, into this trapdoor. The rendering order is basically all the power, then a piece of concrete, uh, and then everything else. So the rev hammer, the rev nuke, or that's the rev hammer and that's the rev nuke. Uh, and then some sideways TNT. We have these pretty close together, but we're using two different boosters, so they're getting separated right here. So the, this part is falling onto here, getting shot into this chest to be aligned one pixel back, and then triangling up to the grindstone. And the other part is shooting down here uh, into this trapdoor that's gonna be opened like that. Um, they all fall onto this piston that's extended when it fires, and then they all fall down uh, along with the concrete. And to make it so we didn't have to put this really high up, we just add a little uh, uh, <laughs> a shifter compression thingy uh, with a openable fence gate underneath. So I'm just gonna fire this cannon. It just has the button right here, which I don't recommend anyone doing. Uh, don't put your button just directly powering. Uh... Oh, yeah, don't put your button directly powering dispensers. So because it's a, a, a normal ref setup, it actually doesn't um, doesn't work on the first wall. So the concrete hits and then everything else hits it, um, which means that it does make a hole, but it doesn't actually nuke. But then on the second shot, the concrete hits the wall behind it and everything else hits it to be in here, in between these walls. And then, it's, and then it does that. So TNT hits it, it goes back, and then you create a shape like that. Um, which is just any normal shape. Um, just nothing specific really, just, you know, it's it's a shape. We're using, it's a hammer, it's an upside down hammer. We're, we're, we're nuking the shape of a hammer. Yes, that's what that is. Uh, we also made a version that's uh, more long range. Um, because what happens really is the, the sideways TNT that makes the little shape at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> that, that shape, yeah. Um, the sideways TNT is getting shot into the side of the blocks. So it's aligned to this full block or aligned to this full block. So it's going up, forward and then sideways. But if you add too much power, because this is like about as much power as we can actually use, if you add too much power, or if you shoot too far away, um, then it's not actually going to work. Because while the TNT is moving, it's going to go here, this is the end of the first game tick. Then it's going to, well, move to the side. Tiny bit, like that's only like one pixel, like not even a pixel, that's 1% of a block that, it's, that it gets sideways exposure. So now it travels here, and at this game tick it can still actually hit the concrete, like it's not too far off to the side. But then after that it just moves sideways again and then it misses the concrete entirely. Um, so then it would be, in this case, you know, the concrete would hit this wall and then the balls, I mean the sideways TNT would hit this block right here and move sideways still. So this version basically needs these two blocks to stop the TNT from going too far sideways. And they're just, they're just getting aligned to these pixels and getting moved out of the way uh, by the ref hammer. So they're getting enough sideways momentum. But the balls, I mean the sideways TNT, doesn't actually tunnel. So we're tunneling up, but the <clears throat> uh, they're exploding one red stone tick after everything else. So you can see that when I fire, um, I'll have the explosion boxes enabled. It shoots up, 
and then right here it's not actually swinging so this is just going up and down swinging not sideways or not sideways tunneling or anything but the shape still makes sense so i i don't hate it it's nice i think i have a clip of us using it actually i'll include that in the video <laughs> yes it's up what the fuck happened to her car uh i might have unloaded the gun and like by flying away but it's I don't still know. a cock! I mean, it's a cock. It's it's a cock. It's a fine cock. It's... <laughs> That's a cock, alright. Let's go. So, quickly gonna say again that it's not actually meant to be a raiding cannon. It's just meant to, you know, annoy people a bit that have watered walls. Um, you could also just combine this with another cannon. Uh, you could just have a cannon, a normal cannon underneath it, or like next to it, adjusting in the same line. You use the normal cannon to go through the lava walls, and then you just put this one on there to rev nuke shapes into their walls. So yeah, I'll put a, a link, or two links, to this cannon in the description. Uh, I'll put a schematic in there so you can paste it using roll edits, and I'll put a light medic in there if you want to build it yourself. Um, I guess I'm gonna make it so it's, uh, it's watered, or like lava -ed. I use lava for everything, but actually the only thing you actually need lava for is right here. This piece, because the concrete does fall inside of here, and if this were water, then the concrete would turn solid. But that one, and that one behind there, that booster, those can actually just be water. Like, it doesn't have to be lava, but you know, you don't want to have like lava and water in your inventory, so it's easier to build like this. But yeah, cock and ball nuker. But thank you very much for watching, and uh, leave a like for this very peculiar shape. I'll just fire it once more, just for good measure. <laughs> uh, also remember to subscribe, because I actually do plan on uh, releasing some stuff. Or um, releasing some cannons, releasing some cannons with different physics versions uh, in the near future. Maybe even a tutorial about certain mechanics that changed um, in the recent versions. But yeah, thank you very much and I'll see you later.